Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Les Peace Petro here in another video. As you can see, we're in a ship that is trashed, and I'm going to be teaching you how to manage your NPCs, Marv and whoever else you find. So, as you can see, he's just repairing stuff. Um, let's start off with the basics. So, over here on the right-hand side, you can see where you can see who you have in your crew currently. Now, right now he's on hold, which means he's not going to try to follow me, and he's going to do his own pathing, path work on his own. But if I hit follow... Marv will do his best to always be following me. Um, he'll still repair on the go, but if I move away, he's going to try to follow me um, and go where I go. Which is nice because when I go onto another ship, he'll follow me onto that ship and attack with me and things like that. But if I hit uh, hold, he'll kind of do his own thing. Now, you can tell crew members, all crew members, to repair something by simply mouse wheel clicking on an item that is damaged if Marv will pay attention to me and it is something reachable so Marv is currently let's get him somewhere else tell him to come repair this here we go here he comes maybe Marv come here you can repair this right come here Marv hmm, he seems to be pathing on his own but for the most part it's kind of like a general repair function is what it seems to be more like here we go. Now he's following that act. So he seems to be doing things in a somewhat order, um, which is fine. At least he gets them repairing. So you have multiple crew. But you can specifically tell Marv to do something. So he's right here doing this, and I'm right, and I mouse click on him, and you get this little green square thing, and I can click down here. He'll walk down there, and then he'll come back and try to finish this, uh, finish repairing stuff. But if I click on him and then click on that to be repaired, he'll walk over there and instantly start repairing it. And then he'll create his own task list, task list of stuff he wants repaired, wants to repair. So that's how you can get them to specifically repair something. Otherwise, it's more kind of general, and it seems like they'll get to it. But that's how you kind of specifically tell them is mouse wheel click on them. You'll get the green square, and you can tell them where to go. Now, when you tell them to just go to a spot on the ship, I find that sometimes that doesn't work, and I have to exit the game and go back. So if that's not working for you, maybe try doing that. Um, and it seems like... If you if they're not pathing to something that's destroyed down here, you can click on them, path them down here. They'll then notice that something's destroyed and attempt to try to fix it, uh, which is nice. Um, you do have to see them and click on them to get their attention. But after that, uh, they're pretty smart about uh, going off and repairing stuff. Um, oops, I meant to... Why do I have that hole there? Anyways, so that's basically it on repair and stuff and getting, getting them to follow you. A nice thing, another nice thing about it is when you die is that you can uh, come back to Marv as Marv when you die. Um, I'll try to demonstrate that towards the end. I don't know how well it's going to work, but we're going to try it. Um, actually, I do know how we're going to do that, but we'll do that towards the end. So what we can do now is if beforehand you could assign them to these things but if you notice if we just mouse wheel click and everything you control marv with and your crew is with a mouse wheel click so if you're mouse wheel clicking on this he doesn't go to it you now have to select marv get the green square then click on the thing you want him to control and he'll go over to it sometimes he walks all the way into it i've noticed that sometimes he glitches and kind of stays out here but is still controlling it but he's now in control of that so if we spawn a bad guy and I'm in debug right mode right now, if you, in case you're curious. But if we spawn a bad guy, right now he's de he's not selected by Marv. And so Marv is not attacking anything. Even if this guy starts attacking me, Marv will not start attacking him. But if I mouse will click on the enemy, which is what you saw before that I had to hurry and turn off, he, he now has that guy selected and will do everything he can to attack. When no one's selected, it seems that he kind of goes into a missile defense kind of mode. Um, and we'll sh try to shoot down missiles that come at you um, Is what it kind of seems to be like I don't know if you specifically need anti-missile Defenses, but it seems to be that's what Marv tries to do when no one's selected and you can also select by doing your own left click on the guy um, just like normal, but you can deselect and if you want Have another guy you can have Marv shooting Why is it still selecting that guy? I can have Marv Marv, shoot this guy. Okay, well, he's not doing it. But you can tell Marv to shoot one guy while you have the other guy selected. So you can kind of split the multitasking away. Maybe I have to unclick that guy. There we go. You have to unclick the other guy. Then I can select my own. That's the guy I'm fighting. That's the guy Marv's fighting. And uh, it all 
works out. And so combat is fairly simple with Marv, and it's actually really, really handy, and Marv is much smarter about it. We can even switch roles. I can tell Marv, hey, I want you to come drive the ship, and I will take care of this. Marv will continue attacking that, and I could potentially continue attacking that if I wanted to. I could even tell Marv, okay, I no longer want you to attack that. Or I can tell him, yes, I want you to continue to attack that. So you're still in control of him, even if you're not in control of the engine control of the ship. So you can take care of these other guns while Marv is flying around. Every once in a while, hop out, repair things if you feel more comfortable doing that while Marv drives. Either way, you have to select Marv, tell him where you want to go, and then take over. If that makes sense. So, another cool thing is that we're going to go ahead... And that's basically it when it comes to crew control. It doesn't get much more complicated when there's more crew. All you're doing is selecting individual ones that you want. Um, and when they're not controlling something and they are just uh flying about oops actually told them to kind of repair stuff which is fine um hold on let's get rid of this green get in there okay so when he's on hold he'll typically wander around the ship until he finds something to repair but again you can tell him to specifically go somewhere if you want now i'm going to try to just suffocate myself i'm going to put on my armor that doesn't have any oxygen and I'm going to try to show you the respawn to Marv. So if I hop out here, oh no, suffocating, death, oh, you have died. And it does its countdown. Now, you can return home, home or you can replace Marv. So if I hit replace Marv, I'm now where Marv is and I'm in his body. And Marv is no longer anywhere to be seen. Um, it's really cool. So if anything, even if having a crew and you don't utilize it, it's still useful to have Marv on your ship for that factor of being able to respond on him if you accidentally die let's say you're you're mount you're uh, docked to a ship and you want to take over but the crew inside kills you but you have marv so instead of sending marv in with you to fight if you're not very confident you can leave marv in your ship and then instantly respond to marv and have a second go at it and maybe do things a little bit different now that you know what's on the inside um so marv is 10 times more useful this time marv will no longer steal your ship from you things like that and you control who Marv is attacking, which is also extremely nice. Um, other than that, I hope I covered everything about Marv. If you guys know of something that I did not cover or accidentally forgot to cover, because sometimes I just do that, please leave it in the comment section below so that way we can all learn together. And so if you're watching this video, please check out the comment section. That way, if there's something I missed or if there's new information that is uh, being displayed by our wonderful, uh, the wonderful community of this game in my comment section. That way you know about it and you can uh, not be in the dark about it because I failed to teach you. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. See ya!